I'm telling you. Say, I'm going to the casinos and spend your money. Is it okay? If you find somebody that tell you yes, please give me their name. <laughs> Call South Jersey Gas, Verizon, whatever, T-Mobile, whoever. I'm getting ready to throw your money away on some liquor. Are you all good with it? <laughs> that, that, that's a crazy, man, that's a brilliant analogy. That tells you it ain't your check. You're working to help us. Help you. It's a vicious cycle. Diane, when you get up in the morning, you're going to work for us, helping us. You bring your check back. Here it is. Now, it's my check to give to y'all. I'm a good steward. Matter of fact, Uncle Sam going to get his first, and he don't trust you. He know you. you take a mind before you get it. I, I had to start thinking like Uncle Sam. I had, to make, I had to take money out of my check before I got it. Put it for 401k, because if I get it, I'm going to spend it. God knows. Glory to God. He, he pulls him out here. Look at what he does. Then God tells him this. And this is what blew my mind. In the 15th chapter, now, this is what, see, time messes our mind and faith walk. Because time is, I want him to do it now. If God had gave me the knowledge I know now when I was 18, I would have not used it right. Because I don't have nothing to base on what I do by what I've done. That was just good. I, I hope we had some accords, but I didn't say that again. I can look. Now I see why that happened. But when I was here, I didn't understand it. I told y'all, and, and, and I was 18 years old, 19 years old when I went to Vietnam, 19. I did not know when I was walking around Agent Orange that it would be a reciprocate downrange. Now, I went to a lot of dumb stuff in the interim, but it helped me. That, that the devil sent out to kill me, God, God helped me. God turned it around. Right. Y'all understand this thing. Just when they think they're going to kill me, God will flip that thing. See, because I trust him. I trust him. I got to trust him. When they thought they were going to put me out of the house, God flipped that thing. Sometimes God got to move you to bless you. Look at somebody. Sometimes he's got to move you because you won't move. You're scared. I remember when daddy taught us how to swim. Remember that, Jess? Man, we run and holler. Ah, he's trying to catch us. He's going to throw us in deep water. Ah, well, I'm sitting here looking. All of a sudden, they stuck up behind me and got me and threw me. Bam. Man, I hit that deep water. I kicked up out of that joke. <laughs> but it, you ready? It wasn't as deep as I thought it was. See, I thought it was deep. But I, I went. Because, see, I would only go to the, you know, you, you know how we. You know. And I didn't realize that it wasn't that deep. But I couldn't swim until I went deep, going to God, until I got deeper. Right. See, I couldn't swim on the, sh you know, you digging dirt. <laughs> Daddy stuck a pain. But here's the thing. He didn't just throw me out there. He stood and watched. God bless my heart. God don't just throw you out there. He's standing and watch you. Yeah, you got this. You see the deal? He ain't going to let you drop. Yeah. They on the boat. He in the bottom boat sleep. He told them, let us go to the other side. They look at him. Jesus down there sleep. Storm, water splashing everywhere. Jesus, he, Jesus, carest thou not that we perish? He stands up. Now all this time, the fishermen, they could swim. But fear grabs you. How many of you ever been afraid? They're going to take my stuff. And then you visualize. Your mind blows up. Oh, they gonna take you. All you need, you get a cold. Bam, it gets rough. Then somebody tell you, oh, I know so-and-so had that. Man, they died of lung cancer. Oh, I got to go to the doctor. You go to the doctor, fear, heart pump. Let me tell you something. You could drop dead right now of an aneurysm. 
dropped dead of a heart attack. He dropped dead. See, so what I realized, I ain't going to be afraid to die. I'm going to just understand death because I'm going to die. So now here's the thing. I tell you, I told you all, shared with you, that prostate cancer doctor thought I was going to cry and break down the office. Well, I had already grabbed heart, heart of reality. Simmons, you're going to die. Just when, how? And uh, he said, Mr. Simmons, I got some bad news. When doctor tell you you got bad news, you know, he, he walking all slow. <laughs> Had a little folder in his hand. <sighs> Diagnosed my brother. Cancer. And we're going to help you. No, God's going to help me because you can't heal me. Yeah. You can't heal me. Yeah. You look at a doctor and doctor tell If a doctor ever tell you he can heal you, he's fired. <laughs> he's practicing medicine. I, amen. I know what I'm talking I recruited right. him. He'll never tell you he can heal you. And then they always got to tell you the worst. They can't tell you the best. They tell you the worst. Then they walk their way up to the best. So you could die. I said, sir, I'm going to die. I mean, not now. But. And he looked. I said, now, I have two places. I can stay here and go to heaven. God. See, I, when things hit me, church, do you realize I'm skipping because there's a reason to skip. When I take off this earth suit, I'm going to be free. See, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Huh? I ain't going, oh, y'all better look out in this house. I'm going to see Jesus face to face. I want to be able to walk up, God bless. As much as I pray and I grab hold in, in the flesh realm, in the physical realm, and I try to sneak into the spirit realm, I'll save him. Mother, I'll grab his hand. Oh, y'all better look out. I'm going to grab that hand. Still got the nail print in it. And I'm going to be able to tell him face to face. You know how many times I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to be able to tell him face to face. Do you know 